Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be actually looking at something pretty cool, which is a lens. So for a little while there, I've been using the 10 to 18 millimeter f4 constant Sony lens. It's an ultra wide lens, so it's been pretty nice for all the shots. So as you can see, I'm framed right now, actually equivalent to about 30 millimeters. So I actually got it all the way to 18, zoomed in, and then I have the clear image zoom 1.7, which equals to about 30 point something millimeters. This is about the equivalent of our new lens, which is the famous Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 contemporary lens so this is an awesome lens there is a lot of good reviews about this lens and this is probably one of the best buys for the e-mount system for the Sony if you have the a6500 this should definitely be in your bag this lens is amazing and it's one of the lowest f-stops you can get so I bought a bundle with this thing which came with this lens and a bunch of other goodies where I will show you guys which was basically the same price as what the lens goes for so let's go ahead and uh, unpack this lens so we can look at it and then we will actually put it on the camera and we'll continue filming with the new lens so when you open it you got some probably warranty cards and stuff like that actually a bunch of paperwork and more paperwork so a lot of it's Chinese I mean Japanese probably and made in Japan so so it comes in this little cradle. Open it up here. Lens hood. And the lens itself. All right guys. So this is what it looks like. So it's not huge, but it's not tiny either. It's like a medium lens. It's a little bit long though. You're getting 1.4, so you know, a little long is not a bad thing. So we got a lens cap here. So a pretty nice lens and it says made in Japan right there on front in the front of it. And uh, this part, this focus ring is really nice. The way it moves. It's just buttery smooth and it's got just the right resistance. The body I think is mostly plastic. This might be metal right here. Can't tell, I think it is because it's cold. So I guess that is metal. So it's a pretty good build overall. This is plastic here. Let's open the back here. And as you can see, the back is all metal there. So a pretty nice looking lens, just for looking at it. Definitely that glass element in the front is pretty pronounced. So the lens hood has a little grip here. That's kind of nice to put it on. Let's see how easy it is to snap it on there. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Well, most likely I won't be using the hood. It makes it way too big. All right, guys, so now we got the lens out and it all looks great. Let's pop it on the camera and see what the difference is. And there it is, guys. Hopefully you can see the difference. So that is the Sigma 1.4. I think I see that my face is brighter overall, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll have to see. But in any case, so we are on the 30 millimeter Sigma. 1.4 so that's exciting if you buy this lens second hand or even if you buy it new make sure you have the latest firmware update which is version 3 now i think it drastically fixes a lot of issues especially with focusing uh, manual focusing and even out of focusing so uh actually let's test the out of focusing right now let's see if i'm going to bring this box in really fast to the front will it okay yeah so it's not super fast but it's reasonably fast. It's not native lens. Now that's great. I can live with that. I can live with that all day actually. Yeah, that's fine. Once you get into the low f-stops, it's the for for the focusing system to work really good is kind of hard. It you know because it has such a shallow depth of field it has to find. It struggles a little bit to get that right and this being a you know not native lens it seems to have really good out of focus. Since this video is all about this lens obviously I want to go out and you know take some videos and pictures and whatnot else but um, what I do want to show you is how I bought this lens and it came or should I say what it came, it came with a bundle and 
the bundle actually came with a bunch of goodies so honestly I think it was like three dollars more than the lens on Amazon by itself with this bundle and the bundle is actually put together by well let's see here by Altura photo all right guys so I'm gonna go right quick through this stuff if you want to skip this part I'll leave a little time code where you can skip this part go straight to the footage well let's check out what we got here it came with this camera man it came with a monopod so it actually came with a little bag for the lens it looks like a hand strap quick release hand strap some kind of little cleaning cloth tissue paper for glass cleaning a little kit here with a little blower a brush and a little spray bottle and last but not least it actually came with some filters for this lens which you will definitely need an ND filter if you're gonna film outside so this is very useful hopefully they're decent quality alright so we got the purple theme continuing alright so here we have the ND4 filter so we do have an ND4 which is perfect for outdoor shooting this is exactly what we'll need actually let's go ahead and put it on the camera right now and see what happens there you go if you guys can see that plus we're testing the focus here on this new lens uh, anyways let's go ahead and go into the lens here alright and that's the ND4 so we might have a much blurrier background most likely we do we should have at least because we are now stopping down trying to get more light in the camera okay so here we have a polarizer filter CPL and we have a UV so technically you could use this to protect your lens element in the front I'm most likely gonna use the ND filter because I need that blurry background in my life that's pretty much it so it's honestly for that extra couple dollars you get a lot of stuff and to be honest like I didn't even have a camera bag all right guys, so I'm gonna clean up here a little bit, maybe put some stuff in this bag, and then we'll go shoot some footage.
So yeah guys, this is the Sigma 30mm 1.4, a pretty awesome lens. I've definitely enjoyed using it and seems like I'll be using it all the time. And if you don't have this lens already, then you should definitely plan on getting it. It's an excellent lens. Alright guys, well thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and it was informative. If you want to pick up a lens like this with the kit that I got with all that stuff, I'll leave a link in the description. It's an Amazon. And if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos in the future and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.